an unprecedented election on Tuesday. All five school bonds and overrides did pass. Yeah, that includes the Sunnyside School District on Tucson's south side. The district had two measures for voters to decide, both passing by roughly the same 60-40 margin. Now, school leaders are now looking forward to seeing the impact of propositions 498 and 499. Our Southside reporter, Reina Preciado, is live in studio today to explain how much this will bring to the district. Reina? Yeah, so I'm breaking down propositions 498 and 499, which are for budget overrides. It's been 16 years since the last override passed. For Proposition 498, this is a maintenance and override maintenance and budget override this will generate eight million dollars per year for five fiscal years starting in 2024 five million dollars in 2029 and 2.6 million dollars in 2030 and 499 is a district addi additional assistance override bringing in seven million dollars per year for seven fiscal years starting in 2024. So it's still too soon to talk about where exactly this is going, but I sat down with the superintendent to learn what the main focus is. Superintendent Jose Castellum says safety is the priority. You know, technology moves quickly and we wanna make sure we have the, the best technology out there. He says the safety infrastructure for most schools is solid, but he says it's time for an upgrade. That includes upgrading the security fencing and the buses and modernizing the buildings. We modernize our buildings so that our students and our employees and, and our teachers come to modern classrooms, right? Modern schools, updated equipment, because that's, that's what they deserve. Castellum says the average age of the 21 schools in the district is about 35 years old. So teachers are looking forward to those upgrades, especially at Sunnyside High School, going on 68 years in the community. You know, you go to these newer schools and they have these newer technologies and they have these wonderful classrooms and think of the pride that those students have. And bringing that pride here to Sunnyside, I think, is really important and wonderful. And the district is thankful the community is giving the schools this opportunity for investment. We are so grateful um, that our voters responded the way they did. They understand that in order to have great communities, you got to invest in schools, right, and invest in students, because that's our future. So this investment is coming from property tax levies. So people living in the Sunnyside District with an average home value of $100,210 can expect to pay around $21 a month. And the majority of voters were in favor of doing so. I'm your Southside reporter. If you have a story idea, you can let me know by scanning the QR code on your screen or by sending me an email. All of that information can also be found on kega9.com. For now, in studio, I'm Raina Preciado. We'll send it back to you, Pat. All right, Raina.